Today we're going to compare the Bissell Crossway Pro with the Tyneco iFloor 3. These are both vacuum mops which are new tech and cleaning that can change everything about how you clean hard floors. Subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe and if you decide to buy either one of these vac mops, please use our link in the video description. First off, before we get into the review, let us say that no matter which vac mop that you decide to purchase, you cannot go wrong. We have both used both of them and they are both amazing. That's right, I tried hers, I really liked hers, she's tried mine, she really likes mine. They're both really great machines. However, there are some differences between the two that make the Bissell better for some people and the Tyneco better for others. And we're gonna get into all of that in this review. What's the vacuum mop? First off, let's talk about what these are because these are relatively new in the cleaning space and definitely a game changer in our opinion. So these are both vacuums and mops combined into one and they are both cordless. They're both self-cleaning and they're both about at the same price point. They're both easy to use, very lightweight, and make cleaning your hard floors easier than ever. These are the broad points that make them very comparable, but what we're gonna do now is put them head to head, comparing the general look of the vac mop, the power, the battery life, edge suction, water capacity, weight, price, durability, impression, and warranty. And we'll finish up with some bonus points that are individual to each machine. So let's start with the companies themselves, particularly Tyneco or Tinco or however you say it. It's a relatively new company and you may not have heard of it unless you're watching what's new, but it's a well-reviewed line of products that proves Tyneco to have a promising future. Now Bissell is a name that has been around for 140 years. They are a well-trusted company that knows how to make vacuums because they have been doing it for a long, long time. Once we compare the specs, we have an array of test messes and we're going to see which one cleans the messes better. But first, let's start with comparing the looks. So they're both very clean looking. The Tyneco is mainly white and black with silver accents. It's modern, sleek, and clean looking, and it looks amazing cleaning any kitchen. The Bissell Crosswave is mostly black and white with a pretty green teal accent. Conveniently, it matches my kitchen decor. I didn't plan that, but hey, it's a perk for my kitchen. When standing side by side, the Tyneco is definitely sleeker than the Bissell, which accounts for the larger water tank on the Bissell. Power, the Tyneco gives you 25 minutes of power per charge. The Bissell has a 36 volt lithium ion battery that gives you 30 minutes of life per charge. That being said, you know, I have a larger tile area in my main space and because it makes cleaning my floor so easy, I have yet to ever run out of battery while I'm cleaning. Janet, what about you? Nope, my entire main level is all hard floors and I've never run out of battery from a full charge. There's a five minute difference between them. The Bissell lasts five minutes longer. How about charging? They both have a docking station for charging and both take about four hours to fully charge. And you might think that is way too long. We have people commenting about this, but just think of all the time that it saves with all the extra steps. I used to have to vacuum with a vacuum on my hard floors and then get out the mop and mop the whole thing. Two steps, both very laborious and time consuming. And now I can just go for it one time. So four hours of charging, while on the docking station, they both have a function for self-cleaning. Now I use the self-cleaning function every use after every use after every use throughout the day to keep my brushes clean. And I actually usually clean my whole house with it and then I recharge it for next time. I don't need to charge mine after every single use. Sometimes I just use it for a few minutes, but because this iFloor S3 will talk to me, it tells me when it needs to be clean. I keep mine in the coat closet with the charging dock, but not plugged in. And then I just pull out both and charge it and then put them back in. Cause I don't want to have clutter in my kitchen and my kitchen's a lot smaller than Diana's. Let's move on to edge section. The Bissell boasts improved edge control. And the only way to determine which is better is to put that to the test. So let's test that out right now. While the Bissell boasts superior edge suction, the Tyneco did pick up all the purple sand with one pass. It took two passes to get all the purple sand up with the Bissell. While neither could pick up all the purple sand, the Bissell was better at picking up more of the purple sand. Both put down a thin layer of clean water onto the floor and at the same time suction up any dirt or things on the hard floor. My vac mop seems to dry almost immediately after I use it. And I wouldn't say the Bissell dries immediately, but within a few minutes after I've used it. A lot of people wanna know, can I just vacuum with this machine? So on the Tyneco, no. As soon as you turn it on, it also has the water coming out. So it's both the vacuum and the mop at the same time 
every time it runs. Now with the Bissell, you do have a manual control over when the water comes out. So there's a trigger up here. When you push the trigger, that engages the water to come out. When you don't hold the trigger down, no water comes out and you're mostly just vacuuming. Now let's talk about how much water it holds. The Tyco holds 20 ounces in the dirty water container and it holds roughly 17 ounces in the clean water tank. The Bissell clean water tank holds 28 ounces and the dirty water container holds 18 ounces. Now the water capacities certainly are different with the greater capacity going to the Bissell, but this is definitely a trade-off when it comes to weight. With the extra water, definitely comes extra weight. Coming in at 11 and a half pounds for the Bissell. The Tyco is the lightweight in this department, coming in at 9.9 .9 pounds. Let's talk about noise level, and there's really only one way to determine which one's quieter. You go first. This is important to me because when I use my vacuum, I can't have a conversation with my husband at the same time. It's just too loud in the house. So look, can we have a good conversation with this going? So I can totally have a conversation with you. Now I can't have it from far away, but it's not bad. And here is the Bissell. You be the judge. They're pretty similar. As far as accessories go, mine comes with an extra roller that I did not bring with me. It comes with this brush that's got matted, so make sure to store it always this way. <laughs> and it comes with an extra HEPA filter. So mine came with two brush heads as well. It came with an extra HEPA filter. The Bissell does not come with one of these fancy brushes. Keep that in mind. However, when I purchased this from the Bissell's website, they had a deal going on right then where I could get these extra heads. This one is for wood floors, and this one is for pet owners. So I got two extra heads in addition to the two heads that we already have. Now, I wanna point out something very different. They're so different. So the Bissell's head is definitely fluffier than the Tyneco's, but the Bissell's have these extra Oh, um, they're like um, these extra thick bristles. bristles that go around. Uh, they have extra cleaning action. I found when comparing the two, the bristles really helped get off things that were already dried on or a little bit harder to get off than the Tyneco did without those extra firm bristles. With regard to the rollers, I actually like this all a little bit better. Let's talk about the price. They're roughly about the same. They're about $400 each. That was a little bit hard for me to swallow. That's more than I usually spend on a vacuum or anything else, but I have no regrets. And I'm just gonna say right here that I have shown my mom who is way cheap. My mom does not like to spend money and she usually asks my dad about every purchase, especially something that's $400. But I took it to her house, I demoed it for her. <laughs> uh, next thing I knew she was on Amazon ordering it. And my dad was like, what are you doing? And he's like, that's gonna be your birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't even hesitate. It wasn't even a question. And my mother-in-law, same thing. I told her all about it. She has a lot of hardwood floor in her house and she just saw my video. She didn't even use it. And she ordered the Tyneco too. And I asked her what she thought of it last time I saw her and she's like, I love it. So I think it's one of those splurges that you think is too much, but it saves so much time. Like I don't think the husbands understand if they never do it, just how much time savings it is. And it's totally worth it. I don't have any regrets. How about you? So generally I am a try to get a good deal kind of a person. I don't like to spend a lot of money. I have zero regrets. And here is why. I use this every single day, multiple times a day. My floor has never been cleaner. My kids like to use it. It saves me so much time that if you have a house or an apartment, you should have one of these. Whichever one you choose, you should have one because it absolutely saves you so much time. And you guys, I am barefoot right now and usually I hate to be barefoot at someone else's house because as a clean freak, I don't like the feeling of dirt on my feet and I'm always worried that people's floor isn't clean. So I, I actually don't take off my shoes at people's house except Diana has a shoeless house and I am standing here with bare feet and my feet feel totally clean. I don't feel any grit. Same at my house. I thought my floors were really clean, but I didn't usually go barefoot and now I can. I can totally tell 
the difference when I go barefoot. But even then, I just look at the floors and they are so much cleaner. And then when I clean the dirty water tank, I know they are. Mm -hmm. So we both agree it is totally worth it. It is totally worth it, whichever one it is that you choose to buy. I want to point out that we were not sponsored. Neither company gave us this. We wish they would have, but we actually spent our own money and these are ours. No regrets. No regrets. Now let's talk about the warranty. The Tyco comes with a two year limited warranty for manufacturer defects. The Bissell is a little bit better. It has a 60 day money back guarantee and it has a three year limited warranty. Durability, we each have had ours for less than six months. I got mine about a month before Diana got hers. So we can't tell you the long-term durability, but neither of us have had any trouble so far with the machines. Now, if you do notice dirty water on your floor, I have seen that, it probably means you just need to change the water tank. Now we're gonna talk about the unique features of each machine. So here's where we can talk about the little things that make our individual vacuum mop stand out. Basically, this is our 30 seconds to brag which machine we think is better. Now I'm gonna say the Tyneco has this eye loop technology, which is an infrared sensor to determine the amount of mess and debris on the floor, and it will automatically adjust the suction and water flow as needed. There's also a button where you can add more water if you need it. This not only helps get your floor clean, but it also optimizes the battery uses. It also has this advanced LED display screen and it shows you the battery level and alerts for maintenance as well as cleaning reminders. And it talks to you to tell you when you need to change it. Cleaning debris channel. And when you need to change or add water. Dirty water tank full. Please empty. I know that can be annoying to people and you can turn off the talking, but it actually helps me keep on top of things. The Tyneco is self-propelled, making cleaning your floors just that much easier. Perfect for anyone with a bad back. My mom loves that feature. So the Bissell has new edge section technology that you don't leave a strip of dirt behind on the edges. It also has a hard floor mode and an area rug mode, so you can actually vacuum your rugs and then seamlessly go right back to the tile floor. The Tyneco does not recommend that you use it on area rugs. The Bissell also has swivel head technology Technology. Not only does this make maneuvering the machine easier, but it helps to get around corners or objects. In my kitchen, if it didn't have the swivel head, I wouldn't be able to reach all the way under the cabinets, all the way to the wall without it. When you activate the water trigger, a helpful light comes on down here to help you see your floor and your messes more easily. And for all of you animal lovers out there, the Bissell Pet Foundation makes a donation mm -hmm. to help save pets with every purchase of this model. So now that you know the specs and some of our favorite things of each machine, let's see them in action. Let's go head to head. Here's our messes. We'll start with the dry mess and then we'll move on to wet messes. We'll do Kool-Aid and then we'll move on to milk and cereal. Then we're going to step it up with some spaghetti and then finally a dropped raw egg. Ooh. As a bonus test, we have a dried on mess because as in real life, we don't always catch the messes right when they happen. Can these machines pick up messes that have already dried on? Naturally, this kind of mess takes longer to get off, but will it get them off? We will find out. The Tyneco did an amazing job with every obstacle it came across. The Kool-Aid, the cereal, the spaghetti was no factor. But before it reached the egg, it did have one small hiccup. Clean the dirty water tank or the debris channel. Okay. <laughs> the Tyneco's smaller water container required it to be dumped in the middle of the test. Still though, it tackled this mess like a champ and now watch how well it picks up the egg. Now onto the Bissell Crosswave. It did an amazing job with the Kool-Aid, the cereal, and the spaghetti. All three were no objects for the Bissell Crosswave. Also because of the larger tanks, we did not need to stop and empty out our dirty water container as we did with the Tyneco. However, the Bissell did have a little bit harder time picking up the spilled egg. This is where we realized that the Tyneco has a little bit higher clearance from the front edge than the Bissell does. Possibly this is the reason the Tyneco was able to pick up the eggshells a little bit more easily than the Bissell was. We also wanted to try them both out on some messes that had been dried on. Here is a popsicle mess and while they both needed to go over the mess several times, the Bissell did seem to pick up the dried on mess slightly better than the Tyneco. Here's another display of this with some dried on baby food.
As you can see, both the Tyneco and the Bissell picked up these messes amazingly well, although they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. Check this out as we are dumping out the dirty water compartment, all of the gross mess that this picked up. So which is better, the Bissell Crosswave or the Tyneco iFlores 3? Let's talk about the cleaners. They have Tyneco brand cleaner and I love the smell of it. It's really nice and it makes my house smell good. And it uses one cap pull in the clean water tank. Now they do say that you shouldn't use any other cleaner and I wouldn't even test that because this is not a cheap machine. I don't want it to break. If they run low or out of stock, you can usually get the two pack and I'll put a link to that on Amazon so that you can get that. But they do say you can use just plain water if you don't have cleaner available. So my cleaner comes in just one container and it's kind of sleek and just one container and yours. So mine comes with these smaller eight ounce containers. That's what comes with it when you buy it. Eight ounces isn't gonna get you very far though. So you wanna then buy the larger 64 ounce container. It has a very, very light, subtle smell. I don't notice it when I clean my floor, so I just notice it if I put my nose up to it. There's an indicator on yours after you fill up the water, then you fill the rest up with the formula. It's more than a cap full though. You definitely need well, to use more than this. But look at how much mine fills up to right here, the max length right here, and I put one cap full in. So I'd probably have to put two cap fulls in for that much water. Oh, yeah. But That's still, I think yours is a little bit more. And how much does yours cost? Do you remember? Mine was about 18, 16, 18 dollars. I can't okay, remember. I think mine was 22 if I remember right. So mine probably a little bit more expensive, but I use less. So our conclusion is if you have bigger messes, more kids, more pets, or just a very busy or messy household, you would probably be better off with the Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max. This larger water compartment means more cleaning time and less refilling time. Plus the brush head with the firmer bristles helps pick up harder messes. So for me, I have four kids, including a toddler and an infant, and it gets messy at meal times. I think the Bissell is definitely better for me. If you have a smaller area to clean or have less messes, but want a little fancier back mop, enjoying the display and the voice reminders, the automatic features, how it's lighter and sleeker, this one is probably a better fit for you. So for me, I have one kid at home plus a cat and a very tidy husband. So for me, I like the lighter, sleeker Time Co. and that's the one that I'm happy with. Now we want to know in the comments which one do you think that you want at your house. And whichever one you decide to use, please use our links in the video description down below. It really helps our channel out when you do. And if you want to see a detailed review of just the Bissell Crosswave or of the Time Co., we will also put that in the video description down below as well. Thanks so much for watching. You'll see links to each review above our head and we hope that you'll check those out and let us know what you think and share this with anyone else who's trying to make this decision between the Bissell Crossway or the Tyneco. And we'll see you next time.